Imagine you have a big chocolate bar. You break it in half. Now you have two pieces. But is it still chocolate? Of course. It might look different, but it hasn't changed into something new. That's called a physical change. A physical change is when matter changes size, shape, or state, but it is still the same substance. That means no matter what happens to it, cutting, bending, breaking, melting, freezing, or evaporating, it's still the same kind of matter. Let's start with the easiest one, size and shape. If you tear a piece of paper into tiny bits, it might look different, but guess what? It's still paper. The same thing happens if you bend a straw, fold a towel, or smash a soda can. You change its shape, but not what it's made of. Imagine you're building a sand castle at the beach. You scoop up a pile of sand and shape it into towers and walls. Did the sand become something new? Nope, it's just in a different shape. That's a physical change in action. Remember our last lesson? Matter can change from solid to liquid to gas and back again. But is melted ice still water? Yes, a change in state is a physical change because no new substance is created. When water freezes into ice, it's still water. When it boils into steam, it's still water. When ice cream melts into a sticky mess, it's still ice cream, even if it drips everywhere. That's because physical changes don't change what something is, just how it looks or feels. What if you mix two things together? It depends. If you stir sugar into water, the sugar disappears, but is it gone? No, you can still taste it, and if you evaporate the water, the sugar will be left behind. Mixing substances together can be a physical change if they don't form something new. Think about trail mix. When you mix peanuts, raisins, and chocolate chips, they stay the same. They don't turn into a brand new food, they're just mixed together. That's a physical change because each part keeps its original properties. One of the best things about a physical change is that it can often be reversed. If you melt an ice cube, you can freeze it again. If you fold a piece of paper, you can unfold it. If you mix salt and water, you can get the salt back by letting the water evaporate. But just because something can be reversed doesn't mean it always will be. If you crumple paper, you could flatten it out but it might still be wrinkled. If you break a window, you can't just put the pieces back together. Even though physical changes don't create a new substance, they can still be permanent. So to sum it up, if matter changes shape, size, or state, but stays the same substance, it's a physical change. Whether you're melting butter, slicing bread, or building a sandcastle, physical changes are happening all around you.